Hey guys, it's Zesty Lemon Slice. I thought I'd just introduce myself because I won't always be posting videos with my face in it. So my name's Georgia. I live in Tasmania, Australia, um, and I'm studying my Bachelor of Fine Arts. A lot of my work is on Instagram if you guys want to check it out. Um, or you may have already come from my Instagram, so hi. <laughs> I thought today would be a good opportunity to do a haul video. So I just received a heap of mail. I've been a little bit crazy <laughs> lately with art supplies. I've been wanting to try just some better quality art supplies because I'm used to more student grade paints. Um, so that was kind of what sparked this haul. I also wouldn't mind building my own watercolour palette so this is like a main reason why I've bought a decent amount of stuff. Um, I do have a lot of videos planned but of course if you guys want me to do any reviews or have any questions about anything in this video just leave a comment down below and I'll answer as soon as possible. I'll also leave links below to all the sites and places where I got this. I mostly shopped at Jackson's. Um, also there's a really good art shop in Australia that sell stuff for really good prices and I'd really recommend that to anyone living in Australia. Some of their prices are actually cheaper than Jackson's. If you've been in the art community for a while you probably know that Jackson's has a lot of European brands for really good prices and their shipping is quite reasonable to places like Australia and the States. Okay so I'll start with um, my smaller order. So this one is from the art shop. I believe the art shop is based in Melbourne. So the first thing that I got was um, these pencil extenders um, by Derwent. There is a size, an 8mm and a 7mm one um, in black and silver. Um, and I think these will be super handy. I don't actually have any other pencil extenders, but Basically, these ones work by pulling off this and placing your pencil in it and then putting it over so your pencil doesn't slip out. Um, I haven't kneaded it yet, but I know that I'm getting close to kneading it. Usually, I used to always just get rid of the little pencils that I had left, but I think now with these, I should be able to get the most out of them. Next, from the art shop, I got... Um, they, like Jackson's, the art shop recycles their packaging, which I really like. It's a, a good use of their, the packaging that they order things in, and I just drop those all over the floor. Cool. So I bought these, I'm, I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name, but I'll leave the name down below. Basically they're like wax crayons, um, and they're water soluble. I bought them to outline some of my drawings um, and I really like this kind of colour combination. I like the effect that you get with crayons because I have been using pastels um, but they're quite, they smudge a fair bit compared to wax based items, products. Um, obviously the only issue is that I can't use these with watercolour if I don't want the colour to spread but I find you still get the line. Um, when you're using these, which I actually prefer having that line, whereas usually when you're using a watercolour pencil, for example, you don't really want that line, whereas these you more so do, and I prefer that effect. The four colours that I got are apricot, jade green, salmon, and light cadmium red hue. They're quite good for kids and stuff, I can imagine, too, but I just really like them. Next, from the art shop, uh, I only got one pastel, um, a Sennelier one. Red is really the only colour that I use. I usually just use it for outlining some things or for transferring um, images. They gave it to me in this little plastic container which I don't really have a good storage option for my pastels so it's actually quite handy because I can keep it nice. So the next few paints that I got, I got a just a couple of the Holbein acrylic gouache. I've been really liking these paints lately 
so I just wanted to get a couple of interesting colours um, to try out. They actually work quite well together and I feel like I could do a limited colour palette with these colours alone. Um, but the colours that I got, I had to get the 40mm um, tubes because they didn't have these colours in smaller tubes. Although I realised after I bought this one I've already got a colour very similar to this. The colours that I got are um, Mustard in the 40mm tube as well as Jane Brilliant in the 40mm tube. Um, I also got Olive and Ash Rose. And the colour combination is super nice. I really like Holbein's range of ash colours. They've got a handful of them in the acrylic gouache and they're really pretty colours but I tried to limit it because there are there are colours that you could probably make yourself. Um, they're more just convenience colours. I mean really a lot of these are but I think there's some really cool limited colour palettes I could create with these colours. I really wanted to try the Prismacolor pencils. I was a little bit hesitant ordering them because I've heard about their leads breaking quite easily so I wasn't sure if it was a good idea to order them online or try and get them in store but I decided to just order some open stock. These are so pretty so I basically got a whole heap of different greens and blues as you can see here. I do also have two polychromo Faber Castell pencils. If you guys are interested in the colours that I have here, feel free to leave a comment below and I can let you know. But these are really lovely, they're really soft and buttery compared to the polychromo pencils. I also got one of the Cull Erase, I think I got two but I may be missing one here, I think I've already started using it. And these work amazing as long as you don't press, press too hard. Oop. So my camera just died, but I'm back with noodles as well. It's definitely a big haul when you need a lunch break in the middle. <laughs> so the next thing that I ordered, I have already started using it, so you'll probably see I have a bit of dried paint on it. But this is a little porcelain palette that I bought off Etsy. It's super cute. Um, I just wanted something small um, that I could use for my watercolour. Um, separate from my actual palette. Um, yeah, there's not much I can say. It's really well made. I'll also leave a link to the store down below. Um, it's a Sydney based um, ceramic artist, I suppose you could say. But yeah, it's basically a dark clay with a white glaze. And I really like it. It was a bit more affordable than. I'd been looking at the sugar, the sugar house um, paint palettes, which are super cute, but they're just really expensive. And also having to order them from overseas, I wanted to buy something local. I knew it would come quicker. It came really fast in the mail, um, and it has just this little section for your brush and some little water wells. But yeah, it's just super adorable. Next, from Amazon, um, I bought this Delphonics pouch in the yellow colour. I wanted something just to carry my stuff in. I think this would be super handy when I'm travelling to keep my art supplies in. Um, previously, I've used like small pencil cases and it's always stuck out the top and not fit properly. So it's nice just to have something well made, quite sturdy, and something that, you know, I can keep my stuff in. It has something like 15 pockets. This is the medium size as well, which I think is a perfect size. It also has two little tabs on the side, which is super handy because you can attach a strap or something like that if you wanted to. Although I like just using it as a pouch at this stage. They are a little bit overpriced, these things. <laughs> I only justified it because I had a voucher. And lastly, I have this big box of stuff from Jackson's. This is where you realise that I went way overboard. This order I just received today, so I haven't really had a good look at anything yet. The first thing that I bought was this little... Um, birch wood box it has a clasp 
just here. And this was in their like clearance section or something like that. Um, I believe because it was meant to have minor issues. Oh, my hair's getting cooler. Minor scratches, which honestly it doesn't even look like it has any. But yeah, so it comes with this kind of wooden palette here. If you guys can see that. And also these dividers. But I thought this would be the perfect size um, and a perfect way to store my watercolors. Plus, because it's got a plain top, I'll probably cover it in stickers. I bought this palette from Magello. So I believe you can get a 18 size and this is the 20 size, so it's a little bit bigger. And it's basically like this, mm, this kind of sturdy plastic which the quality of it, the, the build of it is quite nice, which I didn't expect really, to be honest. So the reason that I'm buying this is because so I've been trying to make a bit of collection of watercolours so I can make my own watercolour palette and have a palette that I can go to that has colours that I'm generally looking for. I will be doing a video of me doing that, but it probably won't be for a while because I do want to before doing that, test out colours and try and understand what colours I use the most. So Magello is a Korean brand and they also sell the mesh and gold watercolours, which um, I don't believe I have any of those. I have so much stuff, you guys can't see this mess around me. So, next I bought this set of watercolour brushes. I always need to replace my watercolor brushes and I just wanted a couple that were still nice quality without being too expensive. So this was a set of free, I believe it was 28 Australian dollars, around about that. Um, and it comes with free brushes, a quill brush, which I always love quill brushes, but I just wanted one that was slightly bigger than the one that I have. I also have this half inch flat brush. I think this is just the perfect set, there's so much you can do with this range of brushes. Even though they're a bit bigger, you can still get quite fine points with brushes like these. And lastly, a size 8. Sorry, I haven't been mentioning a size, so this is a size 2. It's fairly big. And this one is a size 8 round brush, I would say. The only thing it would be missing is like a small little detail brush. But yeah, this is perfect for watercolour brushes. Next, not the most exciting, but I got this combo liquid glue. Uh, I go through glue like nothing else when I have to do my journals for uni, so I decided to get this one. So it has like a fine tip, or a pen tip, and a broad tip. Hey, I'm just grabbing these at random, by the way. So next I have a Moloto um, paint marker in the colour Skin Pastel. I have, uh, actually I have them sitting here, I have like a whole set of the Moloto colours, they're quite nice and quite different from the Poskas, very like muted colours, browns and lots of different greens. And for some reason I think I just forgot to get this when I ordered those other ones so I decided just to get this random one. I really find the paint markers really fun and really easy to use. Next I got myself a mechanical pencil. I decided to get myself just like a decent mechanical pencil, it's not a super expensive one, but one that will last me a while. Um, it's a 5mm one, I'm not quite sure what I would prefer, so I decided just kind of go in the middle. Um, it also has a rubber on the end, which actually looks like quite a good size rubber. I'm guessing these are the leads. Yeah. And so these are the leads, not the most exciting, but I also got my pencil. Um, I got the High Polymer Super Pentel LEDs in 0.5 millimeters. These are a 12 piece set, and I got HB and 4B. Not entirely sure what I'll be using, but I just thought I'd get two different ones and see how it goes. I feel like 2B would have been a, made more sense, but I went for the softest and the hardest for some reason. So next, I decided to buy a bunch of different watercolors. So first um, I got one of these Fine Tech metallic watercolor, just like a single palette. I don't actually have 
one of their palettes because this doesn't fit in a regular watercolor palette but I think I'll just blue tack this into my regular palette because I wasn't sure if it was something that I would use I thought it'd be cool just to get a color that looked cool and see if I can play around with it so next I got I basically went here and bought a whole heap of Daniel Smith watercolors <laughs> I just decided to get the um, the five milliliter size the little tiny cute ones um, because I wanted to try a few different colors and because I'm buying these for this one palette I'm not too worried if I don't have leftovers some of these are purely just convenience colors that I'm probably not going to use as much some of them when I if I do end up using them up I think I will go and get the 15 mil tube because I won't need as many colors they're so cute how small they are. They look like the little sample sizes and I can imagine people looking at them at a shop would think they're sample size, but these are not cheap samples. <laughs> Most of these I bought for my palette that I'm making, so I don't know how well, um, whether they will end up in that palette, but I just want to test them out, play around with them and decide from there. So the colors that I got, I'll go through them all. I got Quinacridone Violet. Raw Sienna, Payne's Grey, Naples Yellow, Cerulean Blue Chrome, Maya Blue Genuine, Buff Titanium, French Ultra Marine, Undersea Green. I also bought a couple of Sennelier ones, so I got Cranacodone Red and Burnt Sienna. Um, and I also got one of the M. Graham Roquanone Amphron pronoun blue. I'm really bad with pronunciation. Um, but yeah, it's just like a really deep blue. And then I also bought, um, which is super exciting, this Sennelier watercolor um, 12 set. I haven't actually looked at this properly, so it comes with this cute little pamphlet um, with information about all their products. And also, Tin. Um, it has like a clip on the black. I really like the black tins because I think they're, they're just nice and sleek and professional looking. And then it just opens up to a full set. And these are the colours just here. Um, I'll put a link down below with this set obviously so you guys can see what colours are in here. I'm not going to go through them all. And it also comes with a little free, size free round brush. I don't know what the quality of this is like, I assume it's synthetic, but I think this will actually be a super handy brush. I think it's a good brush with details and I'd like to see what it looks like when I wet it. This is a worthwhile set if you're looking for a, based on the colours that it includes, if you're looking for a set of artist quality paints, I think this could be an ideal set. Of course I left the most exciting thing to last this Daniel Smith watercolor palette. Um, this is, of course, my first Daniel Smith watercolor palette. I was really drawn to the colors and it's quite a unique set. It's the inspiration set, so it comes with 12 watercolors and 12 empty pens. So this set comes with this clear sheet. You guys may have already seen this before. Some foam and the colors here. One of them's really overfilled which I'm not complaining. <laughs> One reason I really want to get this set too is because um, a lot of the colours were colours that I would have bought in tubes and then I found this and thought well, I'm just getting a couple extra colours more than what I was planning on getting. Um, I think it's, it seems like a really nice palette and looking at the colour charts that people create with this set they look really pretty. Um, it also includes a couple of the Primatech colours, which the Primatech colours are basically colours made out of gemstones. You can tell the palette has been quite thought out, especially when you see colour charts off it. You can see that the colours have chosen work really well together and that you could create something that works well just using these colours. Yeah, so that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. As I said, if you have any questions about anything or if you would like to request any videos for me to make from these products, let me know. See ya.